Three years ago, in 2021, three very smart people got together to talk about the notorious game that makes you punch trees in order to make sticks. And they thought, there are cubes in space. Cubes in space. Those things look a lot like those IQ tests that kids do online to prove that they are smart. But wait, what if they are actually smart? So, they did a whole experiment and wrote a research paper about it. Does playing Minecraft make you a genius? Or can it prove that you're a genius in the first place? Are you ready to join Mensa? Is Minecraft actually the NZT of video games? Whenever you take a test, especially an IQ test, if you're not a complete sociopath, you might be a little bit nervous. Which, naturally, is going to make you perform not as well. At the same time, motivation is quite a big factor whenever you measure intelligence. If you are just presented with a pen and paper, especially if you are quite young, you might not get the most accurate results. So, the science guys took 129 young individuals and told them that they have to take a test. But, in Minecraft. Naturally, their demeanor changed from the usual I don't care to a more positive and for some even exciting one because, you know, games at school. You see, intelligence is a really hard thing to quantify. And if anyone tells you that IQ tests can tell you definitely 999% how intelligent you are, they are only 50% right. They can definitely give you a feel of how good a person can be at different tasks. Regardless, one of the usual structures of one of those IQ tests is comprised of three different tasks. A pattern recognition task, a mental rotation task, and a spatial construction task. And those are the same tasks that those guys made in Minecraft with the help of Project Malmo by Microsoft. What is Project Malmo? It's in essence a mod for Java Minecraft, but it's more of a platform for artificial intelligence experiments and research built on top of Minecraft. It's an AI thing that gives you full control over the Minecraft world. Now, going back to the tests. For the pattern recognition task, they were shown a series of three 3x3 three three cubes, made up of different colored blocks arranged in patterns. What they had to do is to create another 3x3 three three cube of their own that followed the same pattern within 100 seconds. For the mental rotation task, participants were presented with four 3D structures, where three of the structures were identical but rotated and one was different. The task was to identify which one was different by mentally rotating the structures and find the odd one out, again within 100 seconds. They selected their answer by clicking on a green square in front of the model that they thought was different. For the spatial construction task, participants had to build an exact copy of a 3D model with limited set of blocks. And they had to investigate the model by moving their avatar around. They had to strategically place the blocks to recreate the model, sometimes having to build temporary scaffolds so they can reach the blocks. Again, 100 seconds. Before taking all these tests, participants were given tutorials to understand how to navigate in the Minecraft environment. It included basic controls, block manipulation, inventory management, and building. And now it was game on. Everyone tried as hard as they could. The sound of mice and keyboards were reverberating throughout the room. And after a while, it was done. Everyone hands off your computers, the examiner shouted. I mean, I don't know if he said that, I, I'm guessing. The results were gathered and the actual evaluation began. You see, as well as giving those individuals the Minecraft test, they were also given a pen and paper traditional IQ test, just to have a point of reference and something to compare it to. And the results that were found were at least interesting. The results showed that, brace yourself, that the Minecraft tests correlated so well with the pen and paper IQ tests that they could actually be used as a legit IQ test instead of the boring pen and paper. Yeah, you heard that right. All those times when you are digging into the ground and barricading yourself into a 2x1 dirt contraption because you didn't gather enough resources during the day and monsters are out, might actually give you an advantage. But here's a hiccup. The study found that not everything in Minecraft translated absolutely perfect. The mental rotation task, for example, got a bit messy. Imagine this, you are racing through the game 
trying to mentally rotate those shapes to pick the odd one out. But instead of being careful, you are just speedrunning through the whole thing. Some people were zooming through the task, throwing out guesses left and right, instead of really focusing on the task at hand. I guess that might be because video games in general usually imply some sort of reaction time and reasoning and deep thinking in Minecraft is not something that is usually required. So it turns out that when you try to frame intelligence as a game, people get so competitive that they forget to be smart. Who knew? Although there were tutorials before the beginning of the actual test, it was found that those people were at a disadvantage. The scientists noted this and said that while Minecraft could be a cool tool for measuring intelligence, it might favor the experienced players. Taking all of those into consideration, how do we answer the question? How smart are people that play Minecraft? Well, actually, it turns out that Minecraft IQ tests increased the results of those people, especially in those who scored lower in the written test. Also, the game does have elements which require you to think, like the redstone contraptions that you can make. You have end, or gates, switches, and everything under the sun. People made computers in Minecraft, and even Minecraft in Minecraft, for God's sake. So if you're good at Minecraft, there is a chance that you are genius level smart. But you might not be. In the end, Minecraft isn't just about crafting and unaliving creepers. It's just as much a game that made everybody's childhood and filled our memories with joy, as it's a mental workout that can challenge and enhance your mental abilities. So the next time when you hop into the game, just remember that you might actually train your brain to think smarter. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see IQ tests in Minecraft as the new standard. Until then, keep building, crafting, and working out that brain of yours. Now, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell, and also leave a comment down below and tell us if you think that Minecraft players are smart. Also, our latest two videos are right here. Bye!